I'm not lying. It's for real this time. Here's how you can use iMessage on Android. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and, sorry, just, sorry. I had somebody texting me and unfortunately, they're one of those people that are using an Android device, which means for me, I'm getting green bubbles. And there's so many downsides to green bubbles. Messages like photos and videos are sent in lower resolutions. There's not really kind of native support for GIFs or tapbacks or, you know, read receipts or typing indicators, all of these things. While Apple is never going to bring iMessage to Android, there's at least now a workaround. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to use iMessage on Android in an entirely secure and doable way. A couple of things out of the gate. This is not an official port of iMessage. This is not put out or endorsed by Apple, but unlike past attempts by Sunbird, Nothing, AirMessage, and others, it is a very seamless user experience that is also very secure. Unlike the other ones that would require an Apple ID or a third party Apple server running somewhere in the cloud that would act as a relay, Beeper Mini is doing everything on device. You don't even need an Apple ID. There are no extra Macs running your Apple ID somewhere. It's all happening on your phone. Just instant blue bubble. It's almost a too good to be real situation because of how easy and seamless this really is to operate. So let's go ahead and try setting it up. You guys are gonna see this happen in real time. I have my two phone here, my Android phone, my nothing phone too, and my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So here you can see before we set up Beeper Mini, we have my iPhone texting my Android phone. This is the stock native nothing phone app, uh, just normal messages here, SMS messages. And on my iPhone, we're getting our green bubbles. So kind of like your standard texting Android situation. But now let's go ahead and set up Beeper Mini here on my Android phone. I've downloaded the app from the Play Store and I went ahead and signed in with my Google account, which is where I pulled up my profile from. It's gonna hit you know, next here, choose a, a photo. Boom, done. It has imported my photos, assigned them to my new phone number here on the Android phone and that's it. That's I have done it. I, have, I gave it access to my SMS messages to import my message history, uh, but, but that's it. I have blue bubbles now. So let's go ahead and say, let's go. Let's tap on here. What? about now go ahead and send that message and let's see what happens well it looks the same so far but let's go ahead and respond back first you can see we have a read receipt over here right at 538 holy smokes that works let's send it and we have blue bubbles with we have delivery receipts we have a read receipts over there this is incredible let's we can do everything so i can go ahead and hold that if I want to edit it, I can edit it or delete it in that case. And boom, it was deleted over here. Send another message. Send a message over on the Android phone. I can tap and hold. I have my tap back options here. So I can send back, you know, a love emoji, tap back, whatever. I can also edit that message so easily. Boom, I edit it, the hearts are replying. Go back in here to this. I can unsend, I can delete, delete it after that two minute um, mark and remove it that way. You can see my typing indicator because I was messing around over here. All of this is working. It's it's basically just, just iMessage, but from an Android phone. GIFs also like missing you, done. Send it and take a look down here on my iPhone. I'm typing indicator, typing indicator and boom, full screen, like big GIFs. That's, that's amazing. Let's go ahead and send some more photos back. Here's Harrison petting a cat. Let's go ahead and send another cat picture back. Image sent over there, going over to the Android device. Type indicator, boom, here's our photo. Yeah, that's a that's a full size, you know, full resolution photo coming through via iMessage. Save it to your device just like you would uh, uh, an iMessage. This is, this is outstanding how easy, simple this was to work. And it seriously just works all right here on the device, again, this is an Android device, not an iPhone, and, it, and it's doing exactly what uh, iMessage would do, if as if I had an actual iPhone right here. What about stickers? So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the plus button, let's go to stickers, 
Here's an animated one of Harrison. Let's go ahead and just pull that up. Place it right there. I wonder what that does here with uh, with Beeper Mini. Let's go ahead. Back to the Android phone. There seems to be some icon down here. So it, it didn't send like that animated sticker as I hoped that it would. Uh, but it did seem like something happened. And this, this doesn't do anything. So maybe that's also one little thing that's not supported here on Beeper Mini. I went and tried to send it again, so not as an inline reply, but actually just as a standalone sticker, and that worked just fine. Like, I was able to, to send that, and that didn't have any problems. So threaded responses worked too, so I was able to respond to, like, this one up here, so there's one reply to this message. How'd you do that so easily? I'm brilliant. And again, it shows that thread here on Android. How'd you do that so easily? I'm brilliant. And you can do it the other way too. Those are green bubbles can be annoying. I know. So easy to respond to threaded messages to continue that conversation on either device here. The only things Beeper Mini can't do, at least not yet, are full screen animations. So like you send somebody that it is their birthday and the whole thing fills up with balloons. That isn't supported yet with Beeper Mini. There's also no FaceTime audio or FaceTime video. This, of course, could be kind of figured out because Apple does allow FaceTime calls to be done through the web, uh, but right now that's not baked into Beeper Mini. The other thing that is just not supported here is iMessage apps. So iMessage apps and games, the ones that are like polls, all of those, those don't work here because they're actual iOS apps, and of course, those aren't going to run on Android. So how does this actually work? How did Beeper pull this off? Well, it's a long story, but the short version is a teenager, a child, basically reverse engineered iMessage and made this application that they put out uh, that was then acquired by Beeper and became the foundation for Beeper Mini. And it allows everything to run on your device. If you would like to sign in with your Apple ID, that is a possibility. When you sign in with your Apple ID, this unlocks the ability to use your email address, so not just your phone number, but an email as well, like your Apple ID email, uh, and it also would allow you to send and receive from other devices. So if you did have a Mac or an iPad that you wanted to send and receive from and keep them all in sync together, you would be able to sign in with your Apple ID to unlock that functionality. If you're interested in the technical breakdown of how this works, I'm going to let somebody else explain that because Quinn Nelson Snazzy Labs has done an outstanding job breaking this down and there's no reason to repeat everything that he said because he said it so eloquently and just did a fantastic job with the technical behind the scenes on how this works. So I'm happy to show you it in use, but please go check out Snazzy Labs video for, for that full breakdown. Uh, Quinn Nelson just did a wonderful job breaking into that. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Download Beeper, allow notifications and access to your SMS messages, and you're basically good to go. Instant blue bubbles on Android. There is a seven day free trial of Beeper Mini before it starts charging you $2 a month through the Play Store. Uh, if you are an iPhone user and you want to share this with your Android friends, they can actually get a 30-day free trial from like your invite code. So, you, so Android users can actually benefit and iPhone users can also benefit from this. Uh, I know people who use Android and it is a hassle sometimes just dealing with the, with the group chat idiosyncrasies that kind of go on between these platforms. Apple is going to be supporting RCS, but it's still not going to be nearly as good as actual iMessage. And this seems like as likely as close as we're going to get to that. Uh, this is also doesn't seem like something that Apple's going to be easily able to fix. According to Snazzy Labs, Apple's basically going to have to completely re-engineer their entire authentication system for not just iMessage, but for the Apple ID as well. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot of work for them to actually do that. If anything, it wouldn't arrive before iOS 18, but a lot of people don't even think it would be worth it for Apple to try to do that to lock this down. So at least for now, you'll be able to use it just fine. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to try this for yourself or send it to your friends? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. If you have any questions on how this works, how you can use it, anything like that, drop me a line down below in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.